Welcome to watch PCB Engineer shares a little tip. Today's topic is how to handle HDMI interfaces. This board is a 3588 motherboard and has many uses. It can be applied to vending machines or some self-service coffee machines. When lying out, the ESD tube should be placed close to the socket and more grounding holes should be drilled for the ESD tube. Because the ESD tube serves as a protective function, drilling the holes is for discharging static electricity. If the ESD tube is placed too far away, then the static electricity test cannot be conducted. During wiring, the entire group should be treated with ground shielding, and grounding via should be drilled at regular intervals to reduce crosstalk. If there is a situation where HDMI differential pairs need to be replaced with layers, additional grounding via should be added at the drilling points to achieve a near return flow effect. If ground shielding cannot be applied, the entire group should be set as a copper pore keep-out area. Isolated copper can behave like an antenna and may introduce crosstalk into the differential pairs. The HDMI differential pairs need to be of equal length. The impedance within the group and outside the group should both be 5 mils, and it should match 100 ohms. When making the impedance, the reference layer must be a complete plane. Otherwise, the impedance made would not be complete. The above are the layout and wiring processing matters of the HDMI interface. Feel free to share any additional or better solutions.